In this video we are going to make a pause main menu inside of Unity. As you know we have started the GTA series in which we will make a GTA game for Android. In my previous videos we make uh, our main menu, loading screen and a third person movement system. If you have not watched my previous videos so make sure to watch them if you are making a GTA style game for Android. Alright so we will make a UI button over here or here. Uh, I think left side is looking better. Okay, we will make a UI button over here for our pause uh, system with the help of our UI canvas. So here it is UI canvas and uh, as you can see I have a player UI which we made in the previous video. Let's right click over here and create a button over here for our pause system. So I have created the button and let's change its position to here and here okay make it big let's delete the text right now because we don't want this we will use sprite i have imported the sprite uh, from asset store so i will search for pause here it is okay so I'm going to make a new C sharp script for our pause system so I will go to all scripts folder and just right click over here create C sharp script and uh, write the name what you want I think scene scene manager scene UI manager is good name okay let's right click over here create an empty where we will attach the game and rename it to scene UI manager where we will attach the script sorry just drag and drop your script over here and open it up in visual studio all right delete these two methods because we don't want this right now public public means we can access this function inside of unity okay so here we will write void and uh, we want to pause the game so i will write the name to pause game and uh, here we will write that uh, script what we want to execute this line will be main line so here I will write uh, time dot scale time here we have two options one is a uh, zero and other is one if we write if we write zero the time will be paused and if we will write one the game will be played all right so we want to make it zero okay, because we want to pause the game let's back to the unity and uh, click over our pause button and uh, here you have to click on plus button and drag and drop your scene to UI manager over here here we will select that function which we create in the C sharp script and we create a pause game function now right so let's test the game right now I'm gonna play the game right now and let's test whether it's working or not right I am walking and I will jump and I'm going to pause the game and as you can see the game is fully paused and what if we want to go back and we want to resume the game so for that we will make a new function so before making function we have to make a pause panel over here just right click over here and create UI and uh, I think uh, panel is good panel here you have to rename to pause panel and select the image what you want to add in this pause panel so I have uh, one image which we created in the previous video so I will select that and uh, I think there is much more transparent and uh, we have to decrease the transparency so I will decrease from here okay here it is good alright so you can change the color from here but I think white is good white is good yeah just right click over here create UI and create a button over here 
text mesh pro button double click here and move it up come back and focus on it and make it big rename it to uh, pause button your pause and duplicate it move it little bit here and rename it to resume button or reload button other uh, first button is resume button and second button is reload button and duplicate it again and rename, uh, rename it to quit or back all right back to menu move it here and uh, yes here these are looking cool so I'm going to change the text of uh, first button to resume here I can change the text to resume and uh, change the font uh, I think this one is cool drag and drop your text uh, outside of your button and make it little bit big and uh, drag and drop your button into uh, drag and drop your text into button same for the uh, other two buttons I think we have to delete this button because uh, we will do again duplicate it and move it little bit here okay I'm going to change the text to reload I think reload is good name so and the last one to back all right back so we have to change the backgrounds of these buttons because these are not looking cool I'm going to rename the this button to resume uh, reload and last one to back okay let's change the background color to black and make it a little bit transparent here okay and change the text color to white uh, here from white okay the same for the second button go to here and change the color to black and make it transparent as you can see both uh, buttons have much more different difference between transparency the first one is uh, more transparent transparent than second one so I will copy this and uh, or see this from here and paste the same value of transparency over here 199 and as you can see both buttons have same transparency okay same for the last button click over here uh, 199 transparency and uh, make it black and then change the text color to white okay here these are looking cool all buttons are looking very nice all right go back to our script so it is time to make a function for reload so i will write public void and here we will write reload or something like that play game or reload is best i think okay reload because we want to reload the game so reload mean restart here i will uh, sorry we are going to make resume button so I will make uh, we will write here time dot scale time equal to 1 here we want to resume the game so I will write uh, time dot scale time equal to 1 sometime I may uh, make mistakes uh, on voice because I am adding voice when I complete the video So here we have to make an other variable uh, which is public and write is pause panel. Right here we will store our pause panel over here in this variable and uh, when the game will be paused 
the pause panel will be appear and when game will be uh, resume the pause panel will be disappear so how can we do that first of all copy this and paste it over here and write dot set active into true this is statement which is used to uh, appear or disappear anything it okay and copy the same thing and paste it over here but here we will do it false because whenever the game will be resume the pause panel will be set active into false the pause panel will not appear so click on your resume button and click over here drag and drop your uh, UI menu now scene menu over here select the function which we created its name is resume so here it is and uh, before playing the game make sure you have uh, attached the your pause panel into the here in this variable which we created so just drag and drop your pause panel over here all right so let's play the game right now and let's see whether it's working or not let's make the pause panel disappear before playing the game all right i'm going to play the game and let's pause yes yes you can see the pause panel is appear and when we will click on our resume button the pause panel will be disappear and that is what we want all right come back to the script and here we have to make another function void start uh, whenever the game will be start the pause panel will be set active into false because we don't want the pause panel set active when the game will be start uh, so same condition over here time dot scale time equal to one uh, and uh, pause panel will be false set active to false here I write time dot scale time equal to one because we want the play game when the game start we don't want to pause game whenever game will be start the time will be one and it means the game is playing and all time is uh, not stop so here our two buttons are remaining uh, as you can see we have not made the reload system and back system so we are going to make that so come back to visual studio and make uh, first of all write a header file over here and its name is using unity engine dot scene management because we are going to reload the scene so we will use scene management over here otherwise it will not work write a public function over here and uh, call it reload because we are going to reload the game so we will use this reload all right so here we have to write the scene manager dot load scene scene manager dot load here you have three types of option so choose second one because it is best and it uh, load the scene quickly all right so here we will write that scene which we want to load uh, the our current scene is a uh, let's check what is our current scene so our current scene is 2 which we want to reload so here we will put 2 just gap, uh, go back to visual studio and put it over 2 here and uh, click our reload button on drag and drop your uh, drag and drop your UI manager over here and select the function which we created okay here it is and let's play the game right now and check whether it is working or not okay I'm going to click on pause button and reload all right it is working very fine yes this is what we want all right the last one is back function so the same process make a new function over here uh, with the name for uh, public void 
back here we will put uh, same statement we will copy the statement from here and paste it over here and here we will put the, that value which we want to load so we want to load the main menu so its value is 0 you can see here so we will put the 0 over here alright so I'm going to play the game right now uh, before playing the game we have to add the function to button yes and uh, drag and drop it over here select the function which you created its name is back here it is and play the game right now and let's see it is working or not so I'm going to uh, the game has been played and uh, let's check it from here go to back when I will click on back and it is working it comes to main I hope you guys enjoy the video so make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest updates